so big. English. Quick start. So we're gonna set up brand new, of course. Just because you get a little sidetracked, it's okay to go off track, but pivot back and go straight. Stay on the course. Stay on where you're supposed to go. Just keep going. Tunnel vision, stay focused. And 2023 is going to flourish all of your dreams and come to fruition. Everything that you've been manifesting the past two years that didn't come true, don't worry. Because the universe is saying, I didn't let it come true two years ago. Hello, YouTube fam. I hope you guys are all, oh, baby wants to say hi. Benji wants to say hi. Hi, Benji. You guys are doing well. So today I am doing a iPad unboxing. It's literally Christmas day and I just um, I want to unbox it with you guys in front of you guys because it's an Apple product and we love unboxing Apple products on this channel. I have the case and scoop adapter for it. It is so big. It's way bigger than the one that I've had previously so I'm excited. So this is the one. I'm so excited because I haven't unboxed an iPad since the time that my friends and my family got it for me for my birthday <coughs> which I believe was like a few years ago I have my water here because I feel a little bit sick right now so we have the iPad here and I'm gonna unbox it with you guys so let me move you guys like a little bit further so you can kind of see what I'm doing so the reason I decided to order a new iPad was because the new size has been out for like a while now and I really wanted it I still use my old one. I really think that the new one is way bigger and nicer and useful. And I'm also going to Europe for like almost two months. So I'm excited to take the time to really just like spend time on the iPad. Did the light just... That was really freaky. <coughs> the light literally just popped in and out. I actually have the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I love it so much. I love the big screens. Ever since Apple started doing the big screens, it was like literally life-changing by the way my voice is a little bit raspy because i think i'm losing my voice because i'm getting sick you're like shut up nancy we just want to see the ipad okay if you guys are still here please watch all my other videos and my other vlogs as well throw and it is the 12.96 generation wi-fi and cellular 256 gigabytes so you guys can see right there i don't know if you guys can see I forgot how to open it up. Uh, I don't want to drop it. Ta da! Oh my god, it's so big. So, if you look inside, oh, it's the, just like the charger and the cable, as always, always comes in this. And then also the cord. I believe it's a USB C. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look, it's huge. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's so big. It's literally like a laptop, actually. This is the size of my MacBook, but instead of MacBook, it's like the, um, it's like without a keyboard because my MacBook is literally 13 inches. This is 12.9. It's so big, but it's it's very useful actually because I feel like the bigger the iPad it's easier for you to see stuff and read and I'm somebody who actually reads like almost every other day so it's really important to me I also bought off Amazon a screen protector and a case so let's open it and put it on together so this one is the one I think it comes with the pen one, but I didn't buy the pen for it this year yet. I actually lost my Apple Pen in the other one, which I was really, really sad about. Okay, so I believe this comes on like this. Oh, is that magnetic? Oh my gosh, it's actually magnetic. This is so cool. Okay, now I'm going to try to put on the screen right there.
Hi guys. <laughs> it's hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't open this because I have nails. I think I have to. Put, I think you'll have to put on a miniature for me. This is a teamwork effort. There you go. Perfect. So you just need like, yeah, front button. Is that a privacy though? Okay guys. It says hello, so let's set it up together. English. Quick start. So we're going to set it up brand new, of course. Continue. Face ID. Okay, guys. So about an hour later, the iPad is finally set up. And this is what it looks like. I'm probably going to go in in the app store right now and actually download a whole bunch of apps and then edit like all the widgets and stuff. But I'm so excited to use it and this is literally as big as my MacBook Pro and I haven't ever had an iPad this huge before. All the other ones I have are like, I think it's only like the 9 or 10 inches um, and it's also the iPad Pro but yeah I'm so excited. This is an upgrade. Oh my gosh look how pretty it is. I'm going to customize, customize all the pages and all the wallpapers and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to do like an iPad tour or what's on my iPad once that's done. It's going to take me a while because I want it to be perfect. But thank you so much for watching this iPad unboxing. I love you guys. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on all of my other socials as well. If you want to keep up to date with me, I literally post every single day on other socials. If you guys also want to learn more about e-commerce on how to build your own online business or truly live a laptop lifestyle while making money online make sure you book a free call down below with my team and you can learn more all about that there hello so i am in the middle of packing for europe and i wanted to unbox these new remote luggages with you guys since i'm in the middle of packing i've always wanted this color because right now i actually have the silver one and um it's like this is like the gold color i was actually debating between this one but i want to show you guys what the huge check-in one looks like as well so i'm gonna open that so pretty oh my gosh look at this color ah! <laughs> look at this color guys bomb It's so heavy. Their mall is actually famous for denting. It's supposed to add like character to each luggage. It's so cute though. I love it. So I'm so excited to use this to go to Europe a lot as long along with the silver one as well. Feeling a little bit sick right now, but I walked over to get a breakfast, a bagel. So I want to eat and try it out, but it looks huge. So big. Just finished eating. Now I am just gonna drink a little bit of the coffee before I go to my hair appointment. Today I am actually dyeing my hair like dark red, which is gonna be such a change from the blonde because I have been blonde for almost two years now and I just feel like the blonde era is a little bit over for me. I'm tired of it. I did all of the looks with the blonde that I really could. I went full head, I did the highlights, I did the balayage. I really tried a bunch of different hairstyles and looks for it, but I don't know. I really loved it last year and then this year I was kind of like phasing out into more of like a full gray and then the gray faded back into the blonde so that's why I ended up continuing 
but now I'm gonna end my blonde era and just go into red and dark brown season of me which I'm excited because I am entering kind of like my late 20s and I do want to look the part I feel like the blonde makes me look very very young and it's nothing that not that is bad or anything I see lots of beautiful women with their blondes and even in their 30s and 40s and they look gorgeous but I just think for me I'm kind of a little bit over this color on myself so I am gonna go and dye my hair today and then get ready for our flight tomorrow to Europe I'm so excited because I haven't been back to Europe for a good four years I haven't been back since 2018 of summer oh my gosh <laughs> I look crazy <laughs> the first time in so long seeing it like this have you ever had red? I don't know if you have pink but like you have red red? no I don't think so because you went from dark to just black? Just, yeah, no, I had pink, but yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really go like full on red. Place. We took away the fireplace um, because it was ugly. And then now we have our huge like walkway. What is this? Um, the living room into the dining room area. Living room into the dining room area and then the kitchen. Hello guys, so I just got home from the house and now I made myself some really really hot ginger lemon tea because my throat is acting up it's kind of itchy and i feel a little bit sick right now and then i also have some mushroom soup and carrots and cabbage and stuff like that and then also brewing also doing some more mushroom soup making some rice and then going to cook some fish and just eat some dinner before i head out for my quick lash appointment fill it's my last appointment of the year and of the day i'm not feeling really well right now because my throat has been itching and i actually think about it i actually haven't gotten sick this year at all so my immune system this year was really really good 
I do take care of myself quite well. I eat what I'm supposed to eat. I take a lot of vitamins. I try to stay from, away from traditional medicine. I really heal my body with natural and organic remedies. So just taking time to rest and obviously I understand not everybody has that luxury to just sleep in for a whole entire week but sometimes rest is literally just all you need when you're sick. Your body just literally needs to rest and sleep and think about nothing and just sleep for seven days straight. So that's what I've been doing a lot this year and I think that's why I Here's honestly- Here's TikTok. That's why I honestly haven't gotten sick this much but now before my trip, I think it's the weather change and my body temperature. So I've been doing my best to just heal as much as I can because I'm gonna be on a 12 hour flight tomorrow and I don't wanna be sweating and feeling like crap on the plane. So I do feel a lot better than I was two days ago, which is important. Um, so that's nice, but right now I'm just waiting for the food to boil and I'm going to end the vlog here actually. So the nice vlog you guys will see is our Europe trip. I will end the vlog here and this will be my last clip here, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support and I'm going to make it a goal this year and something that I really wanna achieve is not falling off the YouTube grind because I always make videos for a good like three months and then I disappear for the entire nine months of the year which to me it was just because there's just so many life things that happen and you don't feel like you want to film honestly I, I I'm literally telling you guys I'm not a content creator I'm not an influencer I'm not a youtuber I'm just somebody who wants to document my life and show the things I'm going through and be transparent with my feelings and grow some friends and family on here and feel like I'm connecting with some of you guys on a deeper level and intimate level but sometimes when you are just in a really sad place you cannot film you can't turn on the camera and then once you even get over past the sad place you really forget to come back to filming because you just want to enjoy the present you don't want to be sad anymore and then when you're not sad you're just like oh I just want to enjoy this moment and you don't want to document and edit and things like that but I'm just thinking that every single time I look back at my videos and watch them I feel really happy that I'm able to see what exact moment and thing that I was going through and I felt during that time and I think that's really important where you can see your growth and your journey and I love bringing you guys along with all of the fun and crazy and boring things that I do because I feel really not alone and I feel like I have friends on here which just gives me a warm feeling I guess on the internet so I'm really going to make it a goal this year for 2023 is to upload every single week consistently not fall off the train of uploading and just making YouTube a priority I think I love YouTube more than Twitter Instagram and TikTok combined now I'm really on the other social platforms a lot less I still post on there almost every other day on stories and things like that but just in terms of the community and the love and the growth and just the people that I have friends on here and you guys and talking to you guys it just makes me feel so I guess makes me feel so happy and my heart tingles every time I do turn on the camera so 2023 is going to be our year and every single one of you guys watching I'm just so excited I know that this year is gonna be big for all of you as long as you continue being consistent and dedicated and chasing your goals and don't fall off just because you get a little sidetracked, it's okay to go off track, but pivot back and go straight. Stay on the course. Stay on where you're supposed to go. Just keep going. Tunnel vision, stay focused. And 2023 is going to flourish all of your dreams and come to fruition. Everything that you've been manifesting the past two years that didn't come true, don't worry. Because the universe is saying, I didn't let it come true two years ago because it's going to come true for you this year. And it's just going to be an amazing, fun year. So I love you guys. I'm going to end the vlog here. Have an amazing week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!